So, welcome back to part two of the series of hints and tips on what to look out for. So, let's smack right on, bang into it. Um, so, whenever I'm looking for a property, after I've visited the tenant and had a, an interview with them and chatted to them and find out whether they're happy or, or you know, want to be there, I sometimes speak to the staff and all of that. Um, I kind of have a look around at the businesses around that business so in other words are there a lot of vacancies um, is it a happy little business hub um, are there a lot of cars passing by look up uh, go and google and have a look what's happening in the area check out what is happening in the surrounds um, and I'll give you an example I once was checking out uh, a pathology a little pathology um, uh, office and they, they basically uh, do collection samples. And I thought, gee whiz, it was the only one in a fairly rural area. So I, I took a drive to the hospital. I found out whether they've got their own private pathology um, unit at the hospital. But no, actually they used the one that we were looking at potentially. I had a look around in the area. I phoned the pathology company and spoke to the manager, spoke to the area manager, spoke to the, the property manager, all of them. Um, just to hear, you know, if there's in, if, if everybody's happy, if there are any um, disgruntlements. Uh, so you want to find out as much information as you possibly can. Ask everybody. I even phoned the city council to find out whether, whether there was um, any plan to build another hospital to see if there would be competition coming into that area within the next, I don't know, five, six years. Always good to know that kind of stuff. So do your homework. When we do due diligence, we do everything. We turn every single rock, speak to every single person possible. So I hope you enjoyed that as a little tip. Tune in next time for the next tip. Thank you.